Miss Goldfish introduced me to her former student named Orito, who was preparing for the entrance exam to the famous Tokyo School of Fine Arts. He was three years older than me and already an amazing artist. After classes, Goldfish let him use the art room for a studio. Soon, Orito-san took me on as his studio mate. Orito-san, I think I'd rather talk about Orito-san. Uh, he is three years older than me, still is, and I speak with him fairly frequently. He lives in near Tokyo. When I met him, he was the most amazing um, French academic technician that I had ever seen. By that I mean Ecole de Beaux-Arts style of drawing. He was magnificent. But that wasn't his true interest. He was a karate expert. And this was insane. No one's heard of karate in those days. Not even Japan. Well, it was known, but it was one of those mysterious uh, black arts that uh, gangsters and professional killers used. Um, and his great desire was to come to America, which he did in 1957, the same year that I came back here. That's a long story. I'm giving you a huge gap. And I got him the first job teaching karate in America. That was in Long Beach, California. Because a dojo had just opened, a gym, karate gym had just opened by this burly, big, blonde guy who had read up on karate, gave himself a black belt, opened this shop, and he was teaching the local police force, Long Beach policemen. And I go and bang, I'm used to banging on no doors. I go in there, I say, look, I know a real karate expert, would you like to meet him? Said, really? I take Orito-san in there, who walked in there with his karate uniform, karate gi, and the black, real black belt, and showed him a kata, that is the formalized karate dance. And the guy went down, well he didn't quite go down, but he, the owner there became his first American <laughs> student. And from there he went to New York, where he ended up working in an ad agency as an art director for 10 years. In 1959, he founded the New York Karate Club, which went on to produce the modern American karate masters. So Orito is the great Ameri pioneer of American karate, my upperclassman. He was very good. But art is difficult. He was too much of a technician. He was a virtuoso. And virtuosity is probably the most difficult thing to overcome in painting. The m one of the more difficult concepts in painting, I think, is that you have to be, or it helps if you're slightly clumsy. <laughs> but I won't go into that. Not Look at Van Gogh. <laughs> He certainly was not John Singer Sargent. <laughs>